And now you can see that my base salary actually went up 30%. And while this is super exciting, these are because of three different reasons. Hello everyone, welcome to Career School. I cover my thoughts on Amazon's come change announcements back in February, and I wanted to provide a quick update on it. Again, as I mentioned before, this is my personal experience and come change my vary to person to person. So I would only take this information with grain of salt. Also, this content is not to brag or complain about my compensation, but it's to just give you a general understanding of what happened uh, in the past couple of months. Before we dive into the actual numbers, um, I want to share what I found out about how compensation structure works. Um, this is based on people who are working in the corporate um, in the United States. So in my past two and a half years of experience at Amazon, what I found out is that there are three things that will really impact your compensation. One is your job level. Two is your role or your job code. And three is your evaluation or your performance. Each of these components play a really important role when it comes to your PCS or personal compensation statement. For a quick example, an L6 marketer like me will have a very different compensation compared to those who are in a software engineering. Even if they're in the same level and had like a same evaluation, it will be totally different because our bands, our total compensation bands for a software engineer versus a marketer is totally different. It is also highly likely that even if someone uh, is in a same role, same level, same evaluation, might have a different compensation compared to one another because of the negotiation or the total compensation they were uh, promised when they first joined the company. One other thing that I found out is that managers actually have very little control over how your compensation is uh, made up because usually what happens is that the system will give you a number based on the three things that I just mentioned, job level, job code, and your annual performance. So again, I would take this information with grain of salt. Okay, let's get into the interesting part. Let's talk numbers. As I mentioned before, Amazon's total compensation is based on three things. Uh, one is your base salary, which is basically your salary. Two is a sign-on bonus or a cash type of bonus. And number three is RSU or restricted stock units. If you want more details about Amazon's compensation, uh, please check out the other link that I have under the description. I joined Amazon in October 2019 and my first PCS or personal compensation statement that I got was in April 2020. Usually the number in PCS is from April that year to March next year. That's pretty much the compensation you get throughout the whole year. For my numbers, I'm not gonna actually share you the you know the actual number. I'm just gonna go over uh, it by percentage. So how I made it is that 100% is for the PCS numbers that I got for 2020. And I'm gonna show you how much it has increased throughout the whole year, uh, YOY, year over year in 2021, and this year, 2022. Let's jump into the actual numbers now. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I made the year 2020 everything 100% um, so that you can actually check out the numbers that is changing in 2021 and 2022. So in 2020, uh, my level was six. I mean, I'm still six, but my role or job code was marketing specialist three. Um, and my base salary was 100%, sign on bonus was 100%, stock value was 100%. When I say stock value here is the amount of stock numbers that you got multiplied by the stock price of that time frame. Altogether, the projected total compensation, which is A plus B plus C, is 100%. Um, so let's move into the year two, 2021. So as you can probably see, my level and job code didn't really change that much. If we go to actual numbers, um, you can see that base salary hasn't changed a bit. So I wasn't given any raise in year two. And sign-on bonus, you can, you can see that it has dramatically decreased from year one to year two. So my second year sign-on bonus was 54% less than what I got in 2020. And then you can see the stock value change. Stock value did change a lot because of two things. One is the stock price actually went up. It went, I think, up like 60% or something versus what I first joined. And then 
I did get more stocks compared to my first year. That kind of offset the decrease in sign on bonus. So overall, project at TC or total compensation, my total compensation did not change a bit. Well, 1% increase. So in 2021, I did not see any sort of compensation increase compared to year 2020. Year 2022 is when it, where it gets really interesting. So as you can see, my level of is the same. Um, however, my role or job code has changed to product marketing now. And now you can see that my base salary actually went up 13%. And while this is super exciting, these are because of three different reasons. One, uh, because of the job code change. The job code change was very interesting because immediately I got that job code changed to a product marketer uh, from a general marketer. That actually made my base salary go up just a little bit. And then the second part was uh, I, I actually had a pretty good year. Um, 2021 was you know pretty strong year for me. So making that a increase in 2022. Again, the third part is because of the announcement that Amazon has made. Obviously, it wasn't as dramatic as they have announced. Um, it wasn't double or anything, but as you can see, I'm pretty happy with the 13% increase. And then we go to sign-in bonus. As you can see, I am getting no sign-in bonus at all from this year. And that's like 0%, 100% decrease compared to 2021. And then the stock value uh, went up 155%. What this means is that I am getting more stock units in 2022 compared to 2021. Um, however, the stock price actually went down a little bit. Um, so making that like 155% increase compared to where it was in 2021. So summing up everything, my projected total compensation is now 25% more than what I was getting in 2021. I know there are a lot of people who are not really satisfied with their, you know, compensation and everything, but with the increase, I'm I'm pretty happy. And again, this is this is not a video to brag about my compensation increase or, you know, complain about it. It was just to provide you a little bit more information about what has happened and how does that impacted me and what you can actually expect out of it. Yeah, that was it for today. I hope this was informational. hope this helped you in any kind of way. And please leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe, like, and share as, as usual. And I'll see you in my next content. Thank you so much.